Hi friends, well, welcome back to my channel. I am Archana from Learning with Play and uh, today I am doing a video on skip counting activities as this is the most requested video. Uh, I have received a lot of requests on my messenger uh, for doing this video. So I am doing a skip counting video today. Uh, so let's start with what is skip counting. Now uh, skip counting in general terms means skipping a number suppose if you are doing a skip counting by 2 so it means you skip the number by 2 and you count the next number uh, in general terms it means multiplication skip counting is nothing but multiplication so uh, I will be teaching you or I will be showing you how we do skip counting or how I am teaching my daughter uh, skip counting uh, I don't want her to learn through the road learning way the way we have learned in school so I have uh, a few uh, activities that I've developed for her and in case you wish to buy any of these activities uh, some of the activities you can uh, make at home and do it uh, other printable activities that you need uh, you can uh, get in touch with me uh, my number and my email ID both are there in the description box below so please feel free to get back to me in case you have any doubts also okay so let's begin now these are some snap cubes uh, these are cubes I got from uh, Navnirmiti the IIT store so now with these snap cubes what you need to do is to explain the concept of uh, skip counting ask your child now suppose if you are doing skip counting by two I'll show you a basic skip counting so ask your child to make pairs of two cubes each okay so your child will make pairs of two cubes here and then you can tell them these two cubes these are two then when you add these to these two this becomes four similarly when you add two to it again it becomes six when you add now this is six when you add 2 to 8 it again becomes 7 and 8 and when you add 2 more to it it becomes 9 and 10 so this way the kid knows that you are adding 2 blocks every time so you are doing a skip counting of 2 and the numbers that we get are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 so this way the child will remember that it skip counting is nothing but counting groups or adding groups of that number itself so for two we have uh, two groups of now suppose I am doing three so this will be three then I again have groups of three now if I do a skip counting by three this will be three there's four five and six so after three it will be six after 3 again it will be 9 after 9 it will be 12 and so on so the child knows that skip counting by 2 or 3 is nothing but adding the number to itself and add, keep on adding the number over and over again now moving on to the next activity here I have I have this paper plate you might find any or you might just cut a circle or any shape for that matter just write down numbers I have written skip counting numbers uh, this is skip counting by two and uh, the, what the child needs to do is this is any lacing thread that you get you can even use a shoelace for it you the, once the child knows the basic skip counting that this is a group of uh, two numbers what you can do is you can give them this lace and they can do the lacing so this again becomes a fine motor activity also and uh, they enjoy doing this activity so it's it starts with two then you can go to four then they need to know the next skip counting number so they can even add five and six will be the next number then eight is the next number skip counting is very important because uh, for higher calculations uh, we cannot keep on adding numbers so we need to know uh, skip counting by heart and this is uh, if we do not want our kids to do rote learning this is the way in which they can remember that uh, this is how we do skip counting or what is the fundamental behind skip counting 
okay so after 10 we have 12 and so on you can do it for any number that you want once your child is comfortable so they will enjoy this activity the next i have something here is again this is a plate where i have written skip counting by five the numbers are five now to explain the concept more clearly what you can do is you can use this u pins okay and from five you need to know that the child needs to count five numbers so it'll be one two three four and the fifth number is going to be a skip counting by ten number okay and five so after five you have ten so this way they remember it very easily now this is again a fine motor skill it requires bilateral coordination also because they need to hold the plate in one hand they need to use the u pin in the other hand this might not be easy for uh, very small kids so kids uh, uh, five years and above can do this activity so you can try it with them and uh, it is a very good fine motor activity also okay and then you can ask them to remove the u pins uh, this activity can also be done uh, with any uh, uh, number that you want okay next i have here is the foam board again i have written a few numbers now this is skip counting by 10 what you can do is you can use your dot markers or you can use this u pins or you can use any uh, manipulative that you have like blocks like these also you can use or you have pebbles or anything of that sort that you have you can use the funda simply here is start with 10 because this is skip counting by 10 the child needs to go to the next number so the next number is number 20 so he places a cube on number 20 then comes number 30 else what you can do is you can use this push pins for the fine motor skills also okay this way or one more thing that you can do is you can use these stickers these stickers i have shown in my previous videos also and uh, i have written the same numbers here the child simply needs to pick up one sticker and he needs to place it on the number 10 he needs to pick up the 20 number sticker but then they this should be done in the sequence so that they remember after 10 what is the next skip counting number it's number 20 number 30 and so on okay now uh, i have created a few uh, activities now this is an ice cream cone activity where i have the numbers the skip counting numbers by two uh, this can be done for any number I have it for all the numbers in case you wish to buy this activity uh, please get in touch with me on my whatsapp number so how do you do this the child picks up 2 then the next number is 4 next is 6 8 and 10 and they can go on up to 100 if they want to but uh, they do not have that much of a uh, patience so uh, at least uh, with 10 to 20 numbers that they can do or 5 or 10 numbers that they can do it will be good the uh, skip counting they can remember uh, will be good so this is one skip, can skip counting activity another one I have here is uh, puzzles now this is again a skip counting by 2 activity uh, so here uh, this is a puzzle that I have made what the child needs to do is only if the numbers are in sequence they will actually uh, see the actual picture so you when you start with skip counting by two uh, where skip counting by two the number two okay i think i have misplaced two somewhere so see this is what happens now it's two okay here it is it's two four Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 
18 and so on this is what you get the idea so this uh, uh, I have all these puzzles uh, from 1 onwards so skip counting by 1 to 10 I have all the puzzles in case you wish to buy it okay uh, this is a fun activity for the kids they simply love making those puzzles so it is fun next what we have is I have this hundreds chart now this is a very important chart because a lot of uh, activities can be done uh, with this chart okay so for for the start what you can do is uh, you can start with the basic activity or you can start with skip counting by one first you show them the uh, method or what is meant by skip counting by one and then you go ahead with skip counting by two now if you're doing skip counting by two you can use again any manipulatives i am using this pebbles right now a child can place two four so he knows there's one number missing between two and four two three six eight and so on now if you're doing skip counting by three the child knows that after every second number the third number is the skip count that he needs to remember okay so this is the way you can use any manipulatives and uh, you can do the skip counting game all right now i have a few worksheets also that i would like to share okay now uh, these are the numbers that i have uh, these are the number strips now these are number strips from 1 to 40 here uh, i have up to 100 what you can do is you can simply cut this and laminate it or if you do not want to laminate it it can be of just one time use what can the child do is if you're doing a skip counting by two activity in this the child can simply color the circles by doing skip counting or if you have a single hole punch the single punch what the child can do is you can punch the numbers or the circles beneath the numbers for which you're doing the skip counting the purposely the numbers have been given in strips so that you can either give them two strips at a time or if the child knows more numbers you can give them three or four so the idea again here is the child can you can even use the push pin here the child will simply put the uh, push pin in the number two four six eight and so on so uh, clubbing together a uh, fine motor skill activity and uh, uh, skip counting activities is uh, a good a way to and keep them engaged because uh, kids love doing that and uh, fine motor skill activities are very important for their uh, finger development because they need to write a lot uh, in the coming years so if their muscles are developed they can write it nicely so this is one activity the other activity is the maze my child loves uh, solving mazes so this uh, activity is for her if you want to reuse it over and over again till the child learns uh, skip counting by two you can laminate it and then you can simply uh, ask your child to place uh, pebbles and uh, find the maze or they can simply color with a uh, dry erase marker and then you can easily wipe it off so here will be uh, two four six eight two four six eight ten and so on and they finally have to uh, have to make the hen reach the chick so this is one fun way of doing the activity okay now these are uh, two simple uh, two and five skip counting uh, boards that I have created you can simply put up these boards uh, in your child's learning area or anywhere in the house where it's easily accessible to them they can just see the number and they can easily recognize this is skip counting by two this is skip counting by five and they know which are the numbers that come in two four six eight and ten and so on these are the numbers that come in skip counting by two this, these are the numbers that come in skip counting by five so if this is easily uh, put up in a place where they can read uh, it becomes easier for them to remember now uh, this is a free activity that I have found on the internet I have shared the link of this free printable uh, in the description box below please feel free to check it out and you can print uh, the, these activities from there 
okay skip counting uh, there are a lot of them i have done skip counting by 2 and 5 because my child knows 2 and 5 and she loves uh, doing these dot to dot activities so this is also a great way uh, to improve your pencil grip and uh, again uh, doing a skip counting activity club with some other activity so this is a, a free printable please go and uh, print it and uh, you can do the activities now one thing i would like to tell you is uh, sequencing is very important sequencing of numbers is very important for any kind of math activity so a child should know the sequencing of numbers that uh, one comes after two and two comes after one and so on because if they know their sequence well it will help them in all the math activities so request you to uh, please uh, teach your child the sequencing activities before you go ahead with any other activities uh, okay and uh, as i said if you wish to purchase any of the activities i have a few more activities on skip counting i have not uh, shown it all here but i have a few more activities in case you wish to buy them uh, you can uh, get in touch with me on my email id or the whatsapp number that i have provided in the description box and if you have liked the activities that i've been doing uh, please do give a thumbs up also do like and subscribe to my channel and uh, please press the bell icon on so that you can receive a notification of all the activities as soon as i uh, upload a new video also do share or pick off uh, the activities uh, with your child uh, that you do and you can share it on my fb uh, with me and i will share it on my fb or insta page uh, of you and your child doing the activity i have mentioned the link of my uh, fb page and my insta page also where i do a lot more activities and i share a lot more activities uh, they might not necessarily be videos so do uh, be sure to check them out thank you bye bye